Ah. Is it Jochen? Oh, awesome. This is him. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm so, so good. Uh, nice. Yes. Finally here. Yeah, finally here. Good. This is so Dutch. This is so Dutch. Okay, so I just want to give a huge thank you, thank you to sort of Bike Superior and Jochen for really helping me. So I've had contact with him. He won't remember this, but I've had contact with him for, I don't know, I, how long have you been around for? In this place we are two and a half years. No, but but in then, terms then of, before I was yeah. at home at my home yeah. office. So. Four or five years ago. Yeah, I, I think I think it was around four or five years ago that I got a one by group from from him, and he was he was just it was such great experience in terms of sort of the, the contact that we had that I'm, I was so so pleased that we could sort of just do the bike together. So super grateful. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the bike. Cool. I will do. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. I've got so much to talk about with this bike, but let's just keep it succinct. So uh, it sounds a bit crazy having a sort of, you know, last week I got the sub and now this week I've got the bike. It's sort of, it sounds a bit sort of so materialistic, but you know, it's worth emphasizing that this bike has been over a year in the making. And this is the first bike I've, the last time I bought a bike was in at the end of the 90s so i think 98 99 so i really look after bikes so they serve me really well it's just that um for the last year i've been without a bike because of a shed fire i'll link to the story up there and the go fund page so i'm gonna keep it really succinct but i lost all my bikes and all my equipment and everything in a shed fire uh, and it was so traumatic but the two people stafe and dan links below got together and they created a gofundme page to to say let's get paul some bikes or let's get pour some money to get a bike um, because with the insurance money you just don't get it all back and everything that's a whole story that I'll link up there this is the end result so for all those kind people that donated some money this is the bike that, that I've been able to get um, and and I promise then and I'll do this I'm going to put all of their names on the bike so people that know me know that I love uh, pink bikes so I'm going to be just covering the crap out of that bike in huge pink uh, writing handwritten writing writing out everyone's name so as a, as a thank you to everyone that sort of has provided this bike for me to do all the cleanups that I do on the bike so but what do I use a bike for well for, for me I've had this real passion for, for bike riding I'm not very good at it but I have a huge passion yeah you know, I've done Ironman, Ironman races and everything but I think for me the main thing that it serves is it, it provides a, a means of transport that means I don't have to use a car so a good example of that is we moved to Harlem where we are because I was working in Amsterdam it was a perfect distance for me to cycle to work every day it was like an hour's ride um, so I could sort of do that every day and I did it every day not just a lot of the time I did it every day if I could get to the bottom of the garden with a uh, bottom bottom of the street without falling off because of ice I would go into work so on the bike so I it was only about five days a year I couldn't do that um, so so cycling is a real passion for me a means to get places and before we lost the bike, I lost the bikes in the fire. Another good example of that is I had a clean up that was 60 kilometers away with um, Plog It up the built. So they had a clean up event there, it was 60 kilometers away. And I used the bike to cycle there, picking up trash occasionally, and then got to the event, did the clean up and then cycle back, picking up more trash. And it turned into a real epic adventure. Uh, it really sort of meant that I could sort of take things further. 
And the other thing that is really good for me is for my running, which sounds a bit daft, but at my age, I don't like to take a day off. I just get stiff the next day. So by me um, having this bike, it means that I can use this as my rest day, go for an hour's bike ride like I am now in this sort of beautiful area. So just along there, it's on the dune lands. So I can sort of go along here just and relax the muscles so that they're all ready to get running the next day. So for me, it's a perfect rest day um, means of training. So it makes me a better runner. Oh, I'm missing loads of stuff out, but let's get onto the bike. So what did I get? So I really wanted to sort of consider what I'm purchasing. So I've just, I only want one bike, uh, one bike that does it all. So I've got a gravel bike, which is sort of, you know, the, the trendy bike these days, uh, but I wanted a gravel bike because what I used to do is I used to use a road bike in the summer with its skinny tires and then a mountain bike in the winter on the roads because of the bigger tires. With this, I've got the best of both worlds. I can actually put big, big, big tires on there or skinny tires, whatever I like, but I've got a middle ground one at the moment. I think that's probably going to be sufficient. So for me, it sort of just replaces the, that need for multiple bikes with just one. Um, but it also lets me go on adventures. It lets me do anything. And uh, there were two bikes that I was sort of keeping my eye on. And I'm so glad that I got this one um, because it's, it has a connection with a shop. So both bikes that I sort of, or both, both, bikes I wanted. Um, I reached out to the bike shops um, last year to see what they could do and Bike Superior really sort of came forward and said that's a yeah it's a ho horrible story that you've told about the the shed fires we really want to help you uh, but we had to get build the shed first so it's taken a year um, but now it's come to reality and so shout out to Bike Superior um, who really stepped up and really maximized the money I've got because with the money I had, having to buy a helmet, having to buy um, shoes, having to buy all the tools and things like that, it meant that you know, the amount of money I had for the bike was, was a lot smaller than the amount that we got. Um, so, so they've really maximized that and, and it's got every, it ticks all the boxes, uh, that I want, which was disc brake. It has to be future proof, has to be sort of a, not something that is going to sort of be okay for five years this is bikes last me 10 years so the last time that i had a uh, i bought a bike was in 98 um so you know a bike usually lasts me well more than 10 years and that's with me using it all the time so you know i really take care of of the bikes so gravel bike because it sort of ticks all the boxes but but also and it gives me the ability to to make my cleanup so it's just like any sport if I cycle I pick up trash and I wanted to have um, a fork bag so that I could easily sort of just bend down pick up trash and put it in there so that's exactly what we've got here so So that, that fork bag has got trash in it already just from me getting here. So it's just a perfect solution for, for me to pick up trash. And what I want to do is have sort of uh, panniers on there. And so once that's full, I can just transfer the trash into the panniers and then just carry on going. So it's, it's the idea of a quick system to pick up and then I can put, uh, you know, if I can't get to a bin, I can put it in the panniers at the back. So, so that's the idea, but yeah, so it's really ticking all the boxes. So, I'm going to talk more about this bike later on, but that, that's sort of just, I think that tells everything I wanted to do on today's ride. I'm just, I just want to get riding. Um, I want to say a huge shout, shout out to everyone that put some money into the fund. You've really enabled something that's brought back a huge amount of joy for me. Um, you've, you've really, it's amazing. I'm looking forward so much to putting all your names on onto the frame. A uh, huge shout, shout out to Dan and uh, Stay for, for doing this idea of the, the GoFund page. I, I never would have had the courage to do that, but but it's just so wonderful. And, and especially to Bike Superior, who just sort of took the bike that I could get from here to here. So I suppose I should tell you what sort of bike it is. Well, it's a Rondo Rut. So Rut, uh, R-U-U-T. I'll link below to, to the specific bike. It's actually last year's model, but it's such a beautiful color and uh, ah, it's just awesome. So, so it's a Rondo Rut, uh, carbon fiber CF2. So yeah, it's nice, comfortable, and it's amazing. Uh, yeah, bearing in mind the last time I had a bike, I bought a bike was in 98. Yeah, they've changed a fair bit. I've never felt so confident on a bike before. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's just instantly stable and and fast and yeah, fast. Can, especially considering the big wheels and you, you just think, oh, it's going to be slower. But it's not. It's just awesome. So responsive. Love it. 
anyway i'm going to get carried off thank you for watching this video um you're going to hear see a lot more about this bike and about all the cleanups so because every week i will be using this and, and doing cleanups or going to places on it so for instance there's an event on friday that uh, i'm not running in but i could use this bike to get there so maybe i'll do that picking up trash on the way cheers thanks for watching like and subscribe <laughs> but now i'm going to run so let's leave you with a montage of me going through the dunes it's a gravel bike so that means only one thing let's hit some gravel <laughs>